Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given simply supported B using the Macaulay's method for the position and amount of maximum deflection and the flexural rigidity as a 20,000 kilonewton meter square. Now we have given a simply supported span of 6 meter which is carrying a point load of 50 kilonewton at a point 1.2 meter from the right hand support. So the given beam is as shown in the figure where the distance from the location A as a small a which is 4.8 meter while the support B as a 1.2 meter and total span which is of 6 meter. Now first we have to find out the support reaction and if we take the sigma m at location A as a 0 which is then the support reaction at location B as a RB which creates the anti-clockwise moment at location A and it is minus 6 RB and 50 kN creates the clockwise moment. So it is positive 50 into total distance as a 4.8 which is equal to 0. Now solving this term we will have the value for RB which is equal to 40 kN. And if we take the sigma v equal to 0, then Ra in the upward direction plus Rb in the upward direction while 50 kN is in downward direction, where Rb is equal to 40 kN, hence our reaction at location A, which is 10 kN. So first of all, we have to calculate the support reaction. And this support reaction is directly calculated as Ra is equal to Wb by L where W is equal to 50, B as a 1.2 meter divided by total L as a 6 meter which is 10 kN and if we calculate the RB then the value for the RB which is W A by L where W is equal to 50, A is equal to 4.8, total L is 6 meter hence the value is 40 kN. So, by the three equilibrium condition or direct equation, we can find out the support reaction for the simple point load at distance A and B as so. Now, for using Macaulay's method, we have to select a origin as well as the section. So, let us assume that the origin is at location A and the section is in the last span as a CB as shown. So And the moment at this location or we can say that the moment at this section which is mx and the value is ra into total distance as a x meter in clockwise direction. So it is as a positive and 50 creates anti-clockwise moment. So 50 in the negative direction and the value is 50 into total x meter and the distance from location A to C is 4.8. So the value is x minus 4.8 meter from the section. Now RA value is 10 kN. So our value for the moment due to the RA is 10x while the point load as a 50 into x minus 4.8 and we have to keep x minus 4.8 terms as it is according to the Macaulay's method. Now we have to use the elastic curve equation which is Now integrating this equation with respect to x we will have ei dy by dx Now minus 10x is integrated as a minus 10 x square by 2 plus integration constant as a c1 now 50 is constant and x minus 4.8 is treated as a one term. So the integration of x minus 4.8 is x minus 4.8 all square by 2 according to the method. Now again integrating this term we will have EIY which is equal to minus 10 x square by 2 is integrated as minus 10 x cube by 6 plus C1 integration as a C1x and the second integration constant as a c2 
while 50 x minus 4.8 square by 2 is integrated as a 50 x minus 4.8 all cube by 6. Now equation 1 is for the slope while equation 2 for the deflection in which C1 and C2 is integration constant which can be calculated by the boundary condition and according to the given beam and the section we know that at this support our deflection is 0 but the support A is at the same location of origin so for first boundary condition we have to put x equal to 0 y equal to 0 while for location B it is at 6 meter from the origin so for second condition it is x equal to 6 meter our y value is 0 so let us put this both boundary condition in equation 1 and 2 we will have If we put the y equal to 0, x equal to 0, then first and second term is 0, c2 is constant and c2. Now 0 minus 4.8, it is minus 4.8. And as per the rule, if our term x minus a is less than 0, then we have to ignore x minus a raised to n term throughout the calculation as the c2 value is 0. Now second boundary condition is when x equal to 6 meter our deflection at location b is 0 so from equation 2 we will have now in this term 50 by 6 is constant now 6 minus 4.8 as a 1.2 now solving this term we will have Our constant C1 is 57.6 while the C2 is 0. So we have to eliminate the C2 term from the equation. Now let us put the value of C1 in the equation 1 and 2 for the finalize of slope and deflection equation. We will have Here equation A is for the slope, equation B is for the deflection. Now we have to calculate the maximum deflection as well as the distance of the location where the maximum deflection is occurred. So for that we must have the slope equal to 0. So let us put the slope value as a 0 and calculate the distance as a x from the equation A we will have Solving this equation, Solving this quadratic equation, we will have the value x as a 3.922 meter and we have taken the a as a origin, hence this distance is from the a. It means that at location 3.922 meter, we will have the maximum deflection. So let us put this value in this equation, we will have ei y max which is equal to But here the value is 3.922 minus 4.8 which is less than 0. So we have to neglect this wall term according to the 
method as the value for the y max is and we have given the ei value as a 20000 kilo newton meter square and the y max value is Six point twenty seven mm. So for the given beam, we will have the maximum deflection as a six point twenty seven mm at location three point nine two two meter from the support A. But for given beam, we know that the maximum deflection is at location x equal to square root of L square minus B square by three. And if we put the value of L square as a 6 square as L is the total span. Now B is a 1.2 meter. So 1.2 square divided by 3. And by solving this equation we will have the distance X which is 3.394 meter. And if we put the value of X as a 3.394 in this equation we will have the maximum deflection which is actually in the beam but due to the limitation of Macaulay's method we will have the maximum deflection location is 3.922 meter while the maximum deflection is a 6.27 mm thank you